Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jack, and I will be your host. And I'm Anna, and I'll be your co-host. The spelling bee will be held at 2 o'clock. So don't forget to check it out. Wait, don't we have some new students who have never seen the Claremont spelling bee before? You're right. If you have never seen a spelling bee, a spelling bee is where you spell words, and if you spell a word wrong, you're out. But don't be sad if you get out, because all contestants will receive a $5 Menchie gift card. We would also like to thank Menchie's for giving us these gift cards. There will be rounds that go on and on as people drop out of the contest. But what does the winner get? The winner gets a trophy, and they get to move on to a harder spelling bee. Cool. Now that we have that covered, I think it's time for the Pre-VTV show. show. Sienna, and today I'm talking with Isabella, Taylor, and Finn, who are new to the Spelling Bee this year. Question one, how do you feel about being in the Spelling Bee for the first time, and why? Um, I'm proud of myself for being in it, but I'm really nervous. Um, <coughs> I'm proud, and I'm really nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. And I'm excited to be in this, and I probably won't win it, but I'll have fun. What strategies will you use during the spelling bee? Um, I'll pronounce the word in my head and then figure out the letters in it. Um, when they say the word, I'll picture it in my head, and then I will spell it. I will first... Um, Say, like, uh, say the syllables like in my head, and then I will write it on my hand. Who or what helped you become the good speller you are, and how have they helped? Um, my mom quizzes me on a lot of words, off of shampoo bottles, like moisturizer, and it helps. My mom or dad or whoever just has the paper and then I don't see the words, but they do and then they tell me one of the words and then I spell it. Um, I go to the, uh, I use the sheet and then I, I study the sheet and then my mom quizzes me on some of the words. What do you do to train or prepare for the spelling bee? Um, my mom just looks up words that might be in the spelling bee, sometimes even words I don't even know the meaning of, and she asks me to spell them. Um, well, well, they give me words and then I spell them. Um, my... Um, uh, I review the uh, study sheet that my teacher gave me. Thank you all for taking your time to speak with me, and good luck with the upcoming spelling bee. Now back to you, Anna and Jack. Oh, that was a great interview. Yeah, I agree. Hey, do you know what it's time for? No. I think it's time for some trivia. Oh, great. You will have five questions to answer each. You have three questions. No, you have five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Okay. For third grade, we have, what type of animal is a dog? A mammal, a reptile, a fish? If you said reptile, then you are wrong. If you said mammal, then you are correct. Okay, the next question is for fourth grade. If you were to put an invention on a timeline, which would come last? An automobile, a telephone, an electric light, or a computer? The answer is computer. All right, and now for fifth grade. What date is the American Independence Day celebrated on? The answer is July 4th. That's it for our trivia. 
All right, now let's switch over to Kanaya, who has last year's Spelling Bee champions at Claymont Elementary Spelling Bee. Kanaya? Hi, I am Kanaya. I hear Clay I'm here at Claymont Elementary with last year's winners of last year's Spelling Bee. Ethan and Luke, tell us about the person who inspired you to be in the Spelling Bee. I'll say my sister because she won the year before I won. Well, I made it in and I started studying so I could outdo my sisters because we're a uh, competitive family. Tell us about your feelings when being the last or one of the last people standing on the stage for the Spelling Bee. I was really excited and proud to be that, to be that far. Um, I'd say I was uh, very terrified, but also very excited all at the same time. Tell us, us all about your strategies for spelling. Well, I'll like kind of pronounce it in my head, thinking about what the best pronunciation and then how to spell it is. Um, I'm going to hear the word, I'm going to, if I need to, I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to imagine it in, it in my head. I'm going to look at all the letters and then I'm going to say those letters. What were some of the hardest words to spell or your favorite words to spell and why? My favorite word was phrenologist because that's the word I want to spell it be with. Um... I'd say pretty much all of them were hard besides round one, but uh, I'd have to say my favorite was pugnacious, just because it's kind of interesting and funny to me. Can you see why I can't be in Spelling Bee? How did, you f how did your family feel when they saw that you won? How did you feel? Well, I felt really proud and happy of myself for winning, and then my family was also really proud and happy. Uh, yeah, for me it was pretty much the same as uh, Ethan here. Did you like the Spelling Bee last year, and why? I liked it because it was fun, but it can be kind of pressuring and stressful. Um, I, I definitely found it exciting because last year I didn't even get in, but then fourth grade I got in, and not only did I get in, I got second place, which you know is amazing, so... Okay, thank you, Ethan and Luke, for coming today and for coming to answer these questions. And back to Anna and Jack. Wow, what a great interview. Yeah, some interesting questions. I'm excited to see who will win the Spelling Bee this year. Yeah. Okay, let's do some jokes. Okay. Why did the bee get married? I don't know why. Because he found his honey. What do you call a bee that can't stop eating? What? A chubby. <laughs> That's so funny. All right. Let's go to Ryan, who has a very special interview. And it's our last interview of the day. Ryan? The National Spelling Bee winner of 2016. And I'm going to be asking him a few questions about the spelling bee. How did you feel when you got qualified into the Spelling Bee? So when I qualified to the Spelling Bee, I was in fifth grade at Claymont, actually, and I was surrounded by my teachers and a lot of people that I'd known for a really long time, so I was just really happy that I was finally able to reach my first step to achieving my dream of winning the National Spelling Bee. So I was just really excited and I was really happy that I would get the opportunity to compete at a really high level. What strategies did you use in the Spelling Bee? So I used a lot of strategies in the spelling bee. One of the easiest strategies I used was to always ask everything that I could possibly ask for. So I would ask for the language of origin, to use it in a sentence, I'd ask for the definition, and even for alternate pronunciations. Sometimes, just hearing the word right away, I would be confused, but once I'd ask for more information, I'd be able to spell it much easier and much faster. What would you say to kids in the spelling bee? So, especially to the kids at Claymont in the Spelling Bee, I mean, that's where I started. I started in third grade competing against all the fifth graders. So, uh, to, the, the, to the younger kids, I would say, 
just don't worry about who's older than you. Just focus on your how good you are and how much you've prepared. And just focus on spelling your words correctly. Don't get intimidated by the competition. And as a general advice to everyone, just be confident, be careful, and take your time because there's no time limit here. So just try your best and you will succeed. Did you think you would ever win the National Spelling Bee as a kid? As a kid, my goal was to win the National Spelling Bee, but to be honest, in the beginning, I didn't know where I would end up. But as I started studying more and more, and by fifth grade, I knew that I could achieve my goal if I really tried hard. How did you feel after the National Spelling Bee? After the National Spelling Bee, I really had two feelings. Of course, I was really happy that I won, but also a little bit sad because I couldn't ever compete in a spelling bee again since I had won. So I, I liked spelling so much that I was still sad that I couldn't do it anymore, but I was still happy that I finally reached my childhood dream. When you won the National Spelling Bee and became a celebrity, did you meet any other celebrities? So yeah, after I won the Scripps National Spelling Bee, I was on like a media tour, I guess you can say. I met, uh, I met a professional football player, I met Jimmy Kimmel, who's a comedian, and I met Mario Lopez, who's, who used to be on a lot of TV shows. So I met some celebrities and I guess you can say some professional athletes as well. Do you think kids admire you? I mean, if kids admire me, that just makes me feel really happy. If I can, I, if I can serve as a positive role model for kids who have dreams, then I guess that's great for me and I guess great, great for the kids as well. What was the most difficult word to spell? The most difficult word to spell was actually in my fifth grade year when I went to Scripps National Spelling Bee, and it was the word kaikatea, which was some weird Maori word, which is this language spoken in New Zealand. So it's so far away, and I just never heard of the word before, and I missed it. Okay, that was great, and now it's time to go back to Jack and Anna, the hosts. Thanks, Ryan. That was a great interview. We are so happy to finally meet Gogol. Well, I'm sad to say this, but the freebie TV show is coming to an end. All right, but we have one last game planned, and it's a mini spelling bee. Wow, that sounds fun. Okay, this is how it works. Anna's going to say the words for third, fourth, and fifth grade, and I'm going to, we have five seconds, and I'm going to say the correct way to spell them. Okay. Third grade, your word is wealthy. The correct way to spell wealthy is W-E-A-L-T-H-Y, wealthy. Okay, fourth grade, this one's for you. Your word is astronaut. The correct way to spell astronaut is A S T. R O N A U T. Okay, fifth grade, I hope you study because this one's a challenge. Your word is iridocyclitis euphoria. Just kidding, your word is peninsula. Peninsula. The correct way to spell peninsula is P E N I N S U L A. That's P E N I N S U L A. All right, the time has finally come. We have to end the pre B T V show. But don't forget to watch the spelling bee at two o'clock on this same channel. Bye! Bye.